So we need to be able to talk about intakes and picking up these game objects because a part of our breakdown of the game was that that was going to be extremely important, especially in autonomous mode. So the way that we're going to kind of be thinking about this and focusing on it is in a way of us being able to pick it up when the cubes are, or the cubes, the uh, bricks are in this, stones are in this, <laughs> this orientation. We're just going to go through every single name for these things. Um, so. One of the first things that we want to be talking about is potentially an active intake. So Kelly um, had a couple, had a pretty good idea on something to do here, uh, potentially a, a wheeled intake that you could basically come in at it um, at one or the two orientations, more than likely like long ways. Yeah, more more than likely long ways here, uh, just because that allows you uh, a little bit more range of range of acquisition on the sides there. So um, we have two different sets of wheels here: we have large wheels and we have small wheels, and so. Um, with uh, most active intakes, the idea is that these the contact on here is going to be able to like pinch in almost on the sides to grab that grab this stone and be able to manipulate it where you want. Um, in addition to having an active intake, we can also have a passive intake, something like a pincher or a claw that can also grip onto the sides of these stones and be able to lift them up and move them around how however you want. So that's going to be another one that we're going to go through test and prototype is trying to grab something where since you're going to be looking at the vision targets that are on there to be able to kind of come up and over and grab and then being able to move it and then reset that down onto a piece. So those are going to be kind of the two separate ways that we're going to kind of go and keeping in mind a few things that are going on with these game pieces as we kind of design and go forward.